The ISU men's basketball team picked up their 10th win of the season last night, beating Bradley 68-53. Of course, this Sycamore's team, they have a superstar in Jake Odom and upcoming talent in Manny Arop and Justin Gant. But what makes this ISU team so dangerous right now is the fact each game a different role player is stepping up. Last night, that was Jake Kitchell. The ISU sophomore was key in the Sycamores taking control in the second half. Kitchell scored all eight of his points after halftime and six straight at one point. Coach Lansing was really happy with his big man's performance. It's great to see Kitch do that too. He's such a good teammate, uh, does a really good job, a hardworking kid. Um, and, you know, on the ball screens tonight, we really, a lot of times with, with uh, Jake and, or with uh, Justin and RJ, we, they pop and they're shooting threes and doing those things. But the way they were guarding us, we really wanted to roll to the basket and attack the basket. And uh, we get, did a good job of finding them. And Kitch did a great job of getting down there and finishing tonight. Here's a look at the updated NBC standings. Creighton and Wichita State are the only nationally ranked teams in the conference. The Blue Jays and Shockers continue to be the only unbeaten teams in the NBC. ISU is just a game back at first. They are in a three-way tie right now with Evansville and Missouri State. The Sycamores return back to action Saturday night at Southern Illinois.